Um, this is Ready Unknown Fox, and I'm going to be doing my second game of the 2000 PC edition of Family Feud. And already with one game, we have a grand total of $20,300. And as you can see, my Skype guests are Breezy Ob Station 87. Yeah. And New Kirk G Man 2. Saying who's Nuker? Um, Nuker G-Man Two is not here at the moment. Um, please leave your name, number. Um, if you're female, your sex life. Um, <laughs> also leave me Welcome to the if you're a virgin All or right. not. Uh, All right. How many families? <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. Our first family hails from North Carolina, and they describe themselves as... I'll be back. Oh, I'll be back. Spontaneous. Right. Let's hear it for them. Family number one. They're from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and they describe themselves as trustworthy, but mostly tenacious. Give it up for family... And we'll be taking on the Jones family. Louie Anderson, the old meathead himself. Yeah. Welcome to another game of Family Feud, everyone. What are we waiting for? Let's get started. Did we just pick up Mikey? Uh, no, I was playing a video. Oh, okay. The most popular Name something or someone. That a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Okay. Name something or someone that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Her kids. Uh, her, her parents. Children. Number one answer. The number one answer. All right. Family number. We're gonna play. You're gonna play or pass. You're playing. Okay. All right, so the question is, again, name something or someone that a woman treats better than she does her own husband. Uh, her pet. Name something or someone that a woman treats... What time? Wait, what? what? Uh, number two answer is pet. Name something or someone that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Children's already up there is number one. Name something or someone. Name something or someone that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. the dumb answers at this point. We still need a good answer. What will it be, family number one? 
Let's see. Uh, something or someone that a woman treats better than she treats her own husband. Let's try it. It's not there. Good guess, but no. Gotta give you a strike. Our chance is still coming up. 62 points is gonna be on the line. Okay, family number two. Name the Jones family. They say... A Bible? A Bible? It's not there. We get the points. You got the points. Let's see what the other answers were. Herself. The jewelry. And fur coat. Alright, so we're in the lead with 62 points. Good job, family number one. Family number two. You know what it is? Okay, let's move on to the next round. Round number two. Every time when Corey punches the word yay, it makes this noise called yay! Alright, top six. <laughs> Listen up. We asked 100 women, name the sport you hate the most. Family number one. How about football? What's that? Uh, we asked 100 women, name the sport you hate the most. I say football. I think it's there for you. Let's see. Football. Football's number one with 29. We're going to play. Good answer. Number one. Family number one. Sport we hate the most. Yep. Gonna play? Yeah, golf's a good answer. Golf? We'll try golf. Wacky a willy! We asked the hundred women, name the sport you hate the most. Oh, great, that does it! Alright. See golf. No! Golf is at the bottom of the survey. Don't say Jay, because oh, right. he got, um... I'll be back, I'm gonna go eat some food. Alright. We asked a hundred women. Name the sport you hate the most. I'm going with baseball. Where are your manners? Why is baseball not there? My manners are in course. My manners are in Aubrey's butt. Alright, how about basketball? Come on, we need manners. Uh, and I got a base yeah. basketball's number four. You have three answers left. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> he said good answer. Good answer. Got an answer for us? We asked a hundred women. Name the sport you hate the most. Sport you, Sport women hate the most. Did he say lap dancing? Got an answer for us? Um I don't know soccer. All right. Soccer's not there. Oh, I'm sorry. What about boxing? Boxing? We'll try that. Next family, get ready to steal. Next player, let's go. We asked a hundred women. Name the sport you hate the most. Let's see if it's there. Number three. I'm sorry, what? Another player. We need another answer. We asked a hundred women. Hockey, okay. That's number five. We still need the number two answer. All right. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Uh, another player. We need another answer. We asked a hundred women. Name the sport you hate the most. I have not. There 
There it is, B. Swept the board. The Jackal's back. Welcome back, Jackal. And we yeah, swept the finally, board. Finally, call me my other nickname. You like that? Well, actually, you're the first the person. The second round. Yeah, you're the first That's person cool. to call me the Jackal. Jackal. It's a long story. Start 149 now. Hang in there, family number two. Oh, it does it's round three. Let's, let's do it. Round, round three. No. Round three. That's what I thought. Good. Ooh. Here we go. Something on a man's side of a bathroom medicine cabinet. Name something on a man's side of a bathroom medicine cabinet. Uh, toothpaste. Oh, it was Viagra. Is it there? Show it. Let's just at least find toothpaste. Toothpaste is not there. Nice try, but no, sorry. Family number two? Oh. Let's see what. Oh. Well, let's see what they say. A razor blade. Come on, we need an answer. Okay. We need the answer. And it's not there, so we're going to a new survey. Oh, it's not up there. Let's try this again, and we'll put up another survey on the board. We go from three to five. Here we go. Name something you talk to, knowing that it won't answer back. What Name something you talk to, point? knowing that it will that it won't answer back. A window. Uh, okay. It's funny as my I'm cat answers me when I talk to him. Let's let family number two try. Uh, the window was. An animal. Yeah, that's number one. Animal? Animal's number one. Name something that... Name something that you talk to knowing that it will not answer back. Family number two. Are you going to play or pass? They're probably going to play it. Lawrence. <laughs> They're passing it. All right, then. They're passing it. Your answer, family. I'm sorry, what? Knowing that it won't answer back. Plant. Let's see it. Show me a plant. Number two. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Name something you talk to, knowing that it won't answer back. Something you talk to, knowing that it won't answer back. Got an answer for us? Let's try a door. What will it be, family number one? Door I missed. Eh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well. That's strike right, number one. Door you missed. Oh, well. Name something you talk to, knowing that it won't answer. All right. Any others? <laughs> Let's see. Name something you talk to, knowing that it won't answer back. Um. Quickly. I don't know. Maybe a wall. All right. Yeah, talking to the wall is really good. Yeah, let's try a wall. It's not there. I talked to the wall. I talked to the wall. I talked to the wall last night. Spoke to me. You know what the wall said to me? I don't know. Name something you talk to, knowing that it won't Nothing. answer back. Nothing. <laughs> Name something you talk to, knowing that it won't answer back. Yeah. Huh. It's your turn, family number one. Um. Hurry, please. I'm thinking, Louie. Let's no, try car. car. Let's see. Number three. Oh, I wanted to 
How's the relationship between you and Ren? Knowing that it won't answer back. Good. Let's see. Uh, Are you two making? Family Something you talk no. to, knowing that it won't answer back. Well, Gary, unfortunately, she's out of town until August. Um, what? What? She's out of town until August. Uh oh. Any other thoughts? Oh, bro, I was only teasing you, right? Her birthday together, not. And I know I'm gonna get it. Shut up, Louie. I'm thinking. Yeah, Louie, shut up. He's thinking. Name something you talk to knowing that it won't answer back. No, Louie. Louie was... Is your type. Wait, what, Aubrey? Is your type. You know what? I'm just gonna try something. I didn't say anything. I was saying that Louie... Louie was flushing a J here, and Jay told him to shut up. I said, yeah, Louie, shut up. Oh, well. I was thinking computer. It wouldn't have gone. What do you think it is, family number two? Name something you talk to. What are we saying? Doing that it won't answer back. They're saying a mirror. It talked back to you. I mean, it, it, I mean, it looks exactly like you, and it's talking a mouth. No, it wasn't. Oh, well. They get the points anyway. It's on the bottom of the survey. It's only 72 points. We're still in the lead. A television. That only leaves round four, the triple round. Let's check out how both I didn't know you were saying it's me. I was like, you're saying it's me. I was Aubrey, I wasn't saying it to you. I was saying it to Louie. Oh, Meathead Louie. Round four points are tripled, but you only get one. Yeah, Meathead Louie was rushing. All right, let's try this. Yeah, Meathead Louie was rushing. Uh, Jay here. Pretty much, I was getting Jay to make top five. Louie to be quiet. Here we go. Name something that'll always be associated with Sleeping Beauty. A spinning wheel. I'm sorry, Prince. what? Come on, handsome prince. A handsome prince. Hope it's there for you. Show me! Show me a handsome prince. Handsome prince. There we go. Top of the survey. Good. Let me guess. Let me guess. You have another answer to go with it. So, in the meantime. Oh well, yeah, of course. We're gonna pass it to the other family. All oh, right, family number two is gonna play. Yeah. Okay, family number two. Name something that will always be associated with sleeping beauty. <laughs> Looking good. Survey set. Nope. No. Nope. All right, give me your answer, Aubrey. Spinning wheel it is. Let's go. Put down something. Here we go. Show it. Number three. Two hundred seven. Give family number one those points. What was the second? Two. It was a kiss. Four. Long hair. Wicked witch. Maleficent. A wicked witch. Wicked witch. Wicked witch. Let's check out how both families are doing. Although she is a wicked bitch. Well, yeah. 356. Boy, what a game. Congratulations to both families. But going on to the fast money round is family number one. So now that brings 356 more to our total. Now we're going for 10 grand. 
Hey, Aubrey, are you going to be doing the first or second of Fast Money? Uh, what do you want to do, Barry? Uh, I'll I don't really care. I'm not picky. I'm not picky. I guess I'll go first. All right, I'm not really picky. We have our first player. All right, ready, Aubrey? Clock won't start until I finish reading the first Yeah. Line. Name a language you learn in school. Name a language that you learn in school. No. Name something used to keep out the suck. Name something used to keep out the sun. No. Name something you eat with beer. Something you eat with beer. Uh, purple. No. Name a color in the rainbow. Any color in the rainbow. Name a gift everyone dreams of receiving. Name a gift everyone dreams of receiving. <laughs> uh, a condom. <laughs> 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 Language you learn in school. You said Spanish. Was it up there? 48. That's got to be number one. Name something used to keep out the sun. Here's your answer. You said sunblock. Show it to us. Zip. Oh, my bad. I thought I heard different. Name something you eat with beer. Your answer was... You said pretzels. Was it up there? 39. Name a color in the rainbow. Your answer was... You said red. Survey said... 36. Um, when should I come back? Name a gift everyone dreams of receiving. Answer you okay. said a condom. <laughs> Zip. <laughs> What's with the condom? <laughs> you only need 80 points, Gary, to get to the last one. Same five questions. Looking for the most popular answers. If you hear this sound, try again. All right, you ready? Name a language you learn in school. Yes, ma'am. I'm not a girl. <laughs> Name a language you learn in school. Spanish. Try again. Um, how about, how about Latin? No. Name something used to keep out the sun. Something used to keep out the sun. <laughs> Name something used to keep out the sun? Yes. Um... A hat? No. Name something you eat with beer. Name something you eat with beer. Name something you eat with beer. Um, a steak. No. Name a color in the rainbow. Name any color in the rainbow. Um, yellow. No. Name a gift everyone dreams of receiving. And the final question, name a gift everyone dreams of receiving. <laughs> a boy <blue> job. <laughs> I think that's even better. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get. Language you learn in school. You said Latin. Four. Spin buzz number one. Name something used to keep out the sun. You said a hat. Show it to us. 
six. Name something you eat with beer. You eat with beer or steak. Survey said. Zip. Pretzels was number one. Name a color in the rainbow. You, you said yellow. Survey said 12. It looks like we're going for $5 a point. With 145 points. <laughs> Name a gift everyone dreams of receiving. You said a blowjob. <laughs> Survey said zip. <laughs> so that's 145 plus the 356 that we won earlier. Oh, sorry. Nice try. You're still our winning family, though. Congratulations. So, <laughs> I haven't had this much fun at Family Feud in a while. I'll see you on my next video <laughs> coming soon. <laughs>